What's cooking everybody? It's Dor, and in today's video I'm going to share some tips and tricks on how to survive the start of the game. How to get to your ship safely, and how to repair the damage component so you can fly off and let your No Man's Sky adventure begin. I'm playing this on survival difficulty myself, but you can of course also follow this guide if you're on permadeath or normal difficulty. And so without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So my very first tip would be to play in third person mode, even if you prefer first person, as you have a much broader field of view and this will help you a lot with spotting resources. My second tip would be to focus only on your survival at first. Just ignore the mission stating that you need to fix your scanner. You will need sodium as soon as possible as your shields are going to be low right off the start. So keep your eye open for these plants with a yellow glow as they contain sodium. I got quite lucky right off the bat and had a sodium plant nearby which I spotted in the beginning animation. After collecting it I went to the higher ground to get an overview of my surrounding and luckily enough I could spot a field of sodium plants right away very close by. I know that I was very lucky with this but either way you should be able to spot a sodium plant somewhere nearby. So keep on reaching high grounds to get an overview and move from plant to plant. Alternatively you can recharge your hazard protection by going into buildings or caves as well. Next to collecting sodium, you should also be focusing on collecting some oxygen to be able to refill your life support system. The oxygen plants are highlighted with red, so they should also be fairly easy to spot as well. If there aren't any around, it's also possible to gather some oxygen by mining dangerous flora. Alternatively, it's also possible to craft life support gel. For this you will have to collect the hydrogen from these blue crystals and use it to craft the hydrogen jelly. Gather some carbon and combine these for life support gel, which will fill up your life support systems for the full 100%. Now it's worth mentioning that the more you move, the quicker your life support system will run out. So make sure to stand still when you're looking for the next place to go or when harvesting materials to preserve your precious oxygen. Whenever you spot a building, you should also keep an eye open for these crates, as they can also supply you with much needed materials. They are also scattered around randomly, but they can be hard to spot. And of course, use a save point like this one whenever possible. So you have something to fall back on should it seem that you are dying, especially on permadeath difficulty. It's also possible that you come across these plants with a blue glow. These will supply a boost to your jetpack allowing you to use it longer and without draining your life systems faster. Just watch out using it and don't fly too high as you can receive a lot of fall damage. So when you've gathered enough materials to keep you alive and you feel safe in doing so, it's time to fix your scanner. For this you will need ferrite dust, which can be easily mined from most rocks. Once you have 75 ferrite dust, just go into your inventory and to the multi-tool tab to fix it. From this moment on, you can also use your scanner to mark nearby materials for you. But it's not very efficient as it has limited range and it has to recharge for quite some time. That's why I would not recommend fixing it right away as you lose precious time in doing so. And you should always be able to find sodium and oxygen plants nearby as they are clearly visible. The final part of this mission is to fully charge your exosuit's hazard protection, which shouldn't be a problem at this point. You will now receive a waypoint for a distress signal on your HUD. Go there and make sure to collect as many supplies on your way there. Once you reach the destination, interact with the distress beacon. You will have to investigate the crashed ship. Make sure to collect all supplies scattered around and enter the ship. You will be tasked with repairing the starship and to do this you will need a hermetic seal and metal plating as well as pure ferret and dehydrogen jelly. 
I received some dehydrogen jelly from a case I opened, but this can be easily crafted by mining the hydrogen from the blue crystals mentioned earlier. Metal plating shouldn't be too hard as well, as you only need ferrite dust to be able to craft it. Do so and repair the damaged components on your ship. Once you've done so, the starship will require an hermetic seal, and the distress beacon next to your ship will give you a planetary chart which will point you towards one. I want to ask you to please leave a thumbs up and or a comment if you found this video helpful in any way. And also don't forget to subscribe so I can continue to make No Man's Sky content for you to enjoy. Now before you go there, make sure to craft the carbon nanotube and go into your multi-tool to install the analysis visor. This makes it possible to scan plants as such, revealing their secondary mineral you can harvest. As well as highlight nearby materials and curiosities. But even more importantly, show where your starship is located. You will have to travel quite a bit to the Hermetic Seal, so it's nice to be able to locate your starship should anything go wrong along the way. When you reach the Hermetic Seal and receive it, you will unlock a secondary quest to install the Analyzer's visor and scan something with it. From this point onward, your ship will be marked on the HUD. Return to your ship and use the Hermetic Seal. You will be tasked with gathering ferrite dust to construct the portable refiner. Make sure to gather more ferrite dust than needed as you will have to refine some into pure ferrite. Place the portable refiner and fill it up with carbon for fuel and ferrite dust and start refining. Once you have enough pure ferrite, get into your starship and repair the final broken part. Don't forget to pick up your portable refiner and take off. Once you're in space, I would recommend to shoot some asteroids to collect some tritium for your starship. As well as silver and gold, which you can sell at the space station for some quick early game cash. You will also be tasked with testing your starship systems, which is basically a small tutorial explaining the ship's controls. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it helps you getting off that dreadful first planet, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you so much for making it this far into the video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. If you really did, please subscribe. And if not, well, I hope I get to convince you in the next video.